So, so this is our agenda for today. So basically I start just to give a brief introduction of Latin startups, uh, who we are, what we do. Uh, since because we have a few folks here that are outside Canada, uh, so I will give also an overview of not only the newcomer entrepreneur uh, program, but also the other programs that we offer and that can potentially benefit um, these, these people uh, as well that are not here in Canada. Um, then I'll just uh, walk you through about our program, like what brought us here today. I just uh, will kind of let you know about the criteria, how to be legible, how to apply to the program, and just to give you a good overview of what to expect during the, the program. Uh, we'll just finish up, we'll wrapping up with some testimonials from some alumni uh, startups that work with us uh, in the past. And uh, we have some time dedicated for some questions and answers. So basically, uh, this is our team. It's not completed, but as you can see, uh, we are a small team, but uh, we work hard and we love what we do. So what, who we are, Latin Startups. So we are a nonprofit accelerator here in Toronto. Uh, we've been incorporated since 2016, and uh, we welcome our first cohort in 2017. And since there, we've been helping more than 150 startups. Uh, the way we kind of distinguish a little bit from other incubators and accelerators, uh, it's that we work exclusively with international startups, except for this program, the new uh, inter newcomer entrepreneur program that I will walk you through, uh, but also uh, with um, companies in the technology sector. Uh, we've been working, I know that our name is Latin Startup, so a lot of people associate them, uh, associate us with working with exclusively countries from Latin America. But actually, in our days, we, we work with countries from all of the emerging markets. Uh, we've been talking a lot that I guess we need to do some rebranding at certain point, because we've been welcoming welcome, uh, and help startups from uh, Latin America, since Europe, from Italy, actually there's, there's no limits at all. Um, we've, been, we've become a designated startup visa sponsor in 2019. Um, and I will walk you through a little bit more in detail about our startup visa program. Basically, we help that, that aim to help companies that are looking to move and to kind of establish operations in North America, but also with an immigration um, component. Um, so, so far, these are basically the programs that we are currently offer. Uh, from these programs since 2017, like I said, we've helped more than 150 uh, startups uh, scaling their business into North America. We are very proud to say that we have two unicorns in our portfolio um, that work with us. We do collaborate with other accelerators uh, in the country. Actually, if we feel that's a good fit, we also uh, recommend our companies to join other accelerators. Um, we work very closely, for instance, with Acceleration Center in Waterloo. That's uh, probably the number one accelerator in the country. Very proud. Say that one of my company that just had a Latin American company actually to graduate from Accelerator Center. So we do have a pretty cool statistics to 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 share with uh, with uh, with the community, uh, and we've we've been very proud of that. So um, to give you an overview, uh, and um, to give you an overview of the programs that we offer. So like I said, we do have the startup visa program and it's aimed for companies like some of you said that they are still outside Canada, but they intend to emigrate and actually to start incorporate here in Canada. So this program has three phases. Uh, phase one, where we actually 
help them to validate the market. It's what we call market validation, where we work on the market, when we start narrowing down the vertical and kind of discovering who your ideal customer is. Because most of the times, the customer that you're serving in your home country might not be the same here. Because basically the industry might have some adjustments and you might need also to adjust your product and your solution here to the market. Um, then there's a phase two. In the phase two we call market entry where we basically uh, start validating uh, all the assumptions that we've done in phase one. What we do, we conduct a focus group where we actually try to connect uh, with your potential customer and to make sure that your solution is ready to the market and serves the needs of who's willing to buy your product or your service. Uh, we do offer mentoring sessions. We have one-on-one -on -one mentors assigned on phase two that can help you with different areas from sales to marketing, from finance, or even from the industry perspective. Then we have phase three, what we call the acceleration program. And then um, that phase, it's after we issue the letter of support that basically that's when you start um, working on with all the paperwork to move into Canada. And that's when we start working on a one-on-one -on -one, um, basis to help scale your business into North America. We do offer uh, other programs as well. We have the corporate program that it's basically for um, companies that are not looking for the immigration part. They're just looking to incorporate. Most of the times it's a second headquarter or a third headquarter that they are looking uh, to have here in Canada. And uh, we help them also to how to scale uh, their operations, either by looking for sales or investment funding. It's, it's a very kind of customized uh, program that we work on a milestone basis. Um, we do have a partnership with Elevate Talent, where basically we, we provide them talent. Um, they offer a few programs also in the technology area and we kind of help them hiring people to join those programs so they can get more skills in the tech industry. And uh, we do offer customized boot camps. These boot camps are more related. Uh, typically when we do boot camps, it's like one week boot camp that we partner with other accelerators in the community, uh, not from in Canada, but basically other accelerators outside Canada. We have good relationships, for instance, Pro Chile, uh, just to give an example, uh, that they can kind of prepare companies in their home country and then they can kind of exchange those companies here where we work with them. Uh, but uh, and finally, we have the newcomer entrepreneur accelerator program that brought us today what we call the NIA program. So going forward, I'll just call NIA because it's short. Uh, and that's uh, what I'm going to kind of get into a more detail uh, today. So um, in terms of the, the NIA program, so um, I just before we get into the eligibility requirements, just want to give you an overview of the program. So the program started um, last year with a pilot, uh, and this is a partnership with the NRC IRAP. So this program is partially funded uh, by the government, and uh, that's the way we found to kind of collaborate with them. So we launched our pilot last year with five companies. Uh, three of them graduated from the program. And it's basically, um, it has a structure that I walk you through where we can actually help newcomers that have already their corporation here established in Canada and that they are looking to uh, grow their business here. Um, like I said, um, the way we, and this is a very particular program for us because like I said, uh, we work with international companies. So we do know 
well the challenges that uh, startups faces when they they're trying to kind of penetrate the Canadian market and that's no different when you're a newcomer here you face those same challenges um, and uh, I mean our team itself uh, everyone is the newcomer so it, we feel there there was a natural fit uh, when we kind of were invited to to run these programs because um, some of the challenges that uh, we we find with the companies that are working for some of them sometimes have to do with culture differences you have to find a way to culturally adapt and and fit into the Canadian market and uh, something that we sometimes work it can be very simple things but something like elevator pitches uh, networking how to conduct a meeting um, these are pretty simple things that we are very empathetic with the companies that we work and that we kind of coach them on that and sometimes that after they overcome that they can have a level of confidence that they can actually lead you in the right way to get there either their first customer or either to find funding and that funding we can be either funding by the government or private funder with they're looking for investment. So going a little bit, so going to the eligibility criteria for the program, like I said, the company has to be incorporated here in Canada. Um, we do require a minimum of 50% ownership by, by a newcomer and by a newcomer, we mean a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen. Um, ideally, uh, we're looking for companies with um, newcomers that have been established in Canada for 10 or less years, but actually, uh, if if it's a good business, if we feel that we can actually help the company, it can be people that it's uh, been here in Canada for long. I mean, our main goal is to help the startups, is to help the companies grow. So there's always some flexibility when it comes to, to, to these criteria. Uh, but by all means, something that we do require, it's like I said, 50%. Uh, of the ownership has to be owned by a PR or a citizen. Um, in terms of revenue, so there has to be some traction. Uh, I And from the experience we've had and some from the applications that we've been received, uh, we know that a lot of startups are at the stage that they don't, they don't have traction. They don't, sorry, my part, they don't have revenue. But by all means, uh, it doesn't mean that they will disqualify you from the program. So we've kind of tweaked a little bit. And what we're actually looking for is some traction. And that traction, if not by revenue, it can be either by investment, by funding that they've been able to acquire, or even by the number of users they have. Um, so that's one, that's the, the other criteria. In terms of employees, uh, we're looking for companies that have uh, 500 or less employees. And of course, we, we work exclusively with companies in the tech industry uh, that uh, need to have some IP strategy. If they don't have an IP strategy in place, that's something that we can definitely help them and it's included in the program. So um, how are we conducting this um, recruitment process for the companies? So we have applications open uh, in our website and Mac can also uh, put on the chat box the link that will direct you to the application um, of this uh, program. Uh, so applications have been open since May and will close uh, by August 15th. Um, it's a very simple process. It's like a, a, just a few questions. Most of the questions are yes or no. And then we only require just provide a brief overview of your business, of your business model, and basically the challenges and what you're aiming to get uh, with the program. Uh, we've been conducting some events. Uh, we have this webinar. We are always talking with our community. We are looking for referrals from our, from the ecosystem. So by all means, if you feel that you don't 
um, actually you're not quite a fit for this kind of program, but you know a startup that can benefit from our program, please refer them uh, to us. And uh, at the end, our goal is to select. So we started with five companies last year because it went very, very well. Uh, we have for these next cohort, 10 startups. And uh, we now expanding, um, we are expanding our program outside Toronto. So our goal is to get at least three companies uh, outside uh, Ontario. Um, I have to say that we've been receiving already very good applications and we've been also um, uh, in contact with some of the applications that uh, we received. Uh, and we've been already accepting some companies by all means, what I like to say, if you like to apply, uh, what I'm trying to say is that right now we only have a few spots available. Uh, because we already accepted some of the companies. The way we conduct uh, the process is once we receive your application um, in our website, uh, we will call, uh, we will schedule a call with you, like a short interview, just to get more details, just to make sure that you fulfill all the criteria requirements, and just to get to know a little bit more uh, about your business and about your goals, what you achieve, what do you want to achieve with the program. But um, of course, we also to get uh, to hear some questions that you might have for us. So after that interview, um, if we feel that's a good fit and if you're still interested, uh, we might take some time just to discuss internally with the team and we will get back to you with an answer. The program will start in September, September 12th, and um, we will schedule, schedule some probably a preliminary session before September 12th to give you an overview of the program. And um, the program will have a duration of six months. So basically, we'll start in January. We'll have a small break during the holidays at the end of the year. Sorry, Sorry, September. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we will have a break during the holidays uh, because we know that's always busy time, and then we will finish uh, by March. So, well, this is just uh, an example of so, an event that we have. Basically, this is our three alumni companies with our CEO. Uh, just one of the info sessions that we had uh, about our program. So. Uh, when it comes to the program itself, so what do we offer? So basically, like I said, we conduct the interviews. Uh, and once we, we decided that you're a good fit and you're still interested, what, the way it works, we will send you the agreement to sign. Uh, there will be two invoices in terms of the payment. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, all of you are aware. Uh, the information is all in our website, but uh, the, we do have a flat fee for the program. It's $500, which is a very, very, very affordable price for a, a six-month accelerator program. Uh, that's why we're so blessed to offer these and be uh, in collaboration with the IRAP. That's why we are able to kind of uh, offer this program with a, such a low cost. So like I said, it's, it's a great opportunity. Um, so after we take care about the agreement, the invoicing process, the, the program will kick off in September. So typically we take the month of September to what we called uh, to be the diagnostic phase. So the diagnostic phase basically uh, your company will connect, will meet with our, with our team uh, where we kind of will get to know you in a little bit more detail and start working on milestones uh, for the program. Uh, we will also have mentors from different areas that will work, that will talk with you. And these mentors, it's from sales to marketing, finance, uh, HR, or even in the industry that will basically define with you the needs. So the mentors will, after talking with you, will provide feedback to us. 
And together we'll define what type of mentoring it's mostly appropriate for your, for your company. And after that, we'll start doing our work. So you will have one-on-one -on -one sessions with the mentors that will be assigned to you. Basically, you can have four mentors plus one mentor, what we call an industry expert, someone that can actually understand and can work closely like within your business, your sector. Uh, and then you have one-on-one -on -one sessions with the mentors for the duration of the program. We will have also one-on-one -on -one sessions with our team where we kind of progress make um, on your milestones. We'll basically do follow-ups, how things are and how can strategically adjust your goals for the program. Uh, there will be general sessions, webinars, and those webinars will be in grants. It's something that we can definitely help you if you're looking for grants from the government. Uh, there will be a webinar for that where we can put you in contact uh, with one of our partners that can help you on that. Uh, there will be webinars also related to IP. How can you kind of actually uh, put in place an IP strategy for your business? HR, because at the end, if you're planning to build a team, we also provide you resources and we'll definitely help you. How can you, um, how can you actually hire and start building a team? And uh, for funding as well, uh, we also will help you with funding. Um, we will have for the ones that are particularly looking for investment, we have sessions, mentors uh, that will help you refining your investment pitch. So uh, it's something that we also offer. We have and those sessions we start in October where you have the chance to practice your pitch and to get feedback um, by the end of the program. Hopefully you have your pitch uh, deck ready and um, you at the end we do, we will be always, every time we offer demo days, um, during the year and uh, you'll be more than welcome to join the next demo day that we have where we can actually put in contact uh, with investors and this is uh, like I said it's a very overall um, basis like to give you an overview of our program again feel free to get in touch with us to get more details if you have still have like you're not kind of um if you're still deciding or not to join the program. So is this, like I said, it's just a, a, a brief overview. Uh, how can you prepare you? Um, if you're not looking for investment, but you're more looking for sales, we also help you with preparing your sales pitch. It's something that you can definitely work with our mentors on a one-on-one -on -one sessions. Then it's something that we can, uh, you can take advantage of. So um, this is just some testimonials from our companies that finished the program last year. Uh, they are all still part of our community. So even the program finished in March, you'll still be invited to join our, our events. You'll still be invited to join some of the webinars that we have. So you will be always part of our community, right? So every time we have, we see a new initiative in a market that can benefit, we have your contact. So we're more than welcome to still continue inviting you and to build all the network that you need to scale your business here um, in Canada. Just to go a little bit deeper uh, in terms of some of the, feedback that we got from our alumni companies. Um, the mentoring part is something that all of them really value. They, they, they saw that those one-on-one -on -one sessions really helped them. Uh, one of the companies, for example, to give, an, to give you an example, they have no brand awareness when they join us. And by the end, by, by working with a marketing mentor, they were able to kind of build their brand and to start actually getting users and followers on their social media where they can start actually start talking about their product, their solution to the community. Um, other companies that work with us, they, they feel that they lack some financial support uh, within their 
how to stream their revenue, right? So they feel that after the program, they have now a clear idea of their revenue stream and how they should approach their customers. Uh, the other company that we have, they were looking particularly for investment. So they really took advantage of that. Uh, and they really have, they prepare, they work very hard and they have an investment pitch ready. And by all that means, they are now raising, uh, they are now raising for series A's and they have already 1.8 million um, in revenue at their company. So uh, this is, I know that I've kind of jumped very quickly on the details uh, of the program, but because I wanted to give some, some time for some questions and answers. Um, so yeah, so I just now want, want to open the floor to you uh, and see if I can help in any way. So, And feel free to unmute yourself if you have any questions or if you prefer to use the chat box. You can go ahead, Juan. Thank you. Thank you so much for um, your time and the information given. Um, the, program, the program is very interesting. Congratulations also on the fee. I think it's extremely accessible and low. Um, so thank you for that, for making that happen for entrepreneurs. I have a question regarding um, the, this program is for newcomers to Canada. So it's aligned with uh, the startup visa, as, as I suppose. Um, I just want to um, be, be sure of, uh, and be clear about that and, and, and to know if the, if, if the program, because it takes six months, but uh, currently the process uh, with these visas are taking longer. Yeah. And, 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 and I've heard there's some trouble there. So I just want yeah. to align a little bit um, what can happen with the program and the reality of, of being able to uh, operate in Canada. Yes, so the reason why I, I explain a little bit about the startup visa program is because you're not here in Canada, you're actually not eligible for this program. What you are eligible for, it's for the startup visa program that it's actually aimed for companies like your, like your company that it's still outside Canada and they are looking to move into Canada. So, uh, and that's the program that I was explaining that has three phases. We do have applications open as well. And Meg, if you want to put the link as well in the chat box, uh, sure. there's a, a program that it's, it has a slightly different structure. And, uh, but it's also aimed, uh, are you looking to actually immigrate into Canada? Yes, we would like to re relocate the headquarters of our business to Canada. Yes, so it's a startup visa program that uh, that you're looking for. Uh, Meg, she's just put the link to, to that. The program has a different structure. Uh, basically, it's uh, phase one, it's one month. Phase two, it's two months. And then we have the acceleration that it's six months plus one year of monitoring. Uh, because we know the visas are taking longer time, specific, particularly after the pandemic, everything it's taken longer than uh, it was pre-pandemic, but we kind of will help you as much as possible and we'll be there hopefully until you get your visa and you'll be willing here to, 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 to arrive here in Canada. Um, yeah, but uh, what the program that you're looking for is the, the startup visa program. Happy also to answer any questions if you have about that program, if you want to send an email. Um, but I recommend first to go through the, the our website and have a look how it works. All right. Thank you, Carla. You're welcome. Any other? Hi, uh, Sandeep, this side. Yes. So uh, I just wanted to know the uh, success rate, like if you'll be uh, incorporating like uh, maybe like five, 10 startups for startup visa program. Uh, then what's the uh, success rate of uh, being uh, relocated uh, to Canada, the headquarters of the company? So you, are, so you are India, right? Yes. And are you also planning to relocate to Canada? Yes. Okay, so you, you are in the same boat as Hua. Uh, what you're yes. looking for, it's for the startup visa program as well. Yes. 
So because this the Leo program, it's for um, it's for companies that are are already incorporated here in Canada, and at least fifty percent of the owners have to be already PRs or citizens. So yes, yeah, so uh, your case, it's it's exactly the same of Hua. Uh, so again, I recommend you to check out the link that Mag. Uh, put for a website and just get in touch with us uh, that like I said the applications are we just open the application for the next cohort that it's going to be in September as well uh, but again it's a completely different program right uh, you'll find a lot of similarities between the NEO program but it's 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 slightly different in terms of the structure yeah I understand that and I've gone through your website as well. All the uh, all the three phases I have uh, gone through. Yes. Uh, so my question uh, was uh, just adding some points to uh, uh, the startup visa. So I was just asking for what is the success rate? Uh, if we'll so, be working. Yeah. yeah, so I can. So in, in terms of incorporating, um, any company that finishes phase two incorporates. That's part of the requirement. Um, okay. And then in terms of startup visa, um, so at the we don't want to go into too much detail on this because this webinar is focused on the newcomer program. Um, we're okay. happy to answer more of your questions over email, but um, yeah. there is there is a process in terms of um, presenting to our board and they kind of decide which companies proceed into, you know, and actually receive the letter of support for startup visa. Um, and uh, I don't have the statistics on hand as far as what the success rate is for that. It depends very much on the company. Um, and then in terms of actually like receiving the visas, most of our companies are are waiting for their um, for their permanent residence still because it is such a long process. But we haven't had any get rejected for um, for for their paperwork, and a lot of them have gotten work permits and have started operating here already while they wait for permanent residence. Yeah, I, I can elaborate. So yeah, but you're, so it's three phases you're expected to incorporate by the end of phase two. And um, you're going to pitch for a board of directors. I can tell like approximately 80% of our startups um, do well with our board of directors. Basically what they do, they will put themselves in the shoes of the government and just, decide if you're actually your company is actually ready to to move into into canada uh, and after that yes we issued a letter of support that um the the permanent with the goal to get the the pr but we also um uh, it's on the same letter we do the work permit so eventually you get a work permit so you can come here uh sooner and you don't have to wait that long to get the pr Okay, thanks for the summary. Thank you. Uh, we have a few more minutes. Uh, does anyone else has any other questions? Anyone else planning to to join the program? I know that we have a mix here. Not everyone kind of fits uh, within the NEO program, but for the ones that. Uh, are here in uh, in uh, Ontario, or well, Canada, not Canada, just Ontario. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess if no one has any other questions, um, again, feel free to visit our website and see uh, what the options are. And uh, you have uh, mine and Mac contact. Uh, if you have any questions in the future that you may come across, feel free to, to send us a note. Well, thank you so much and uh, have a rest of a good afternoon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.